Hi everyone. I'm all about the Florida Keys and I've had a couple of viewers want to know how Sombra Beach did but even more importantly is it open yet? So is it? Is it open? Let's find out. Stay tuned. So they still have these piles of sand hanging out, and um, I'm still looking for any any uh, signs that say closed or otherwise. So I will let you know when I find that. But let's just take a look for right now. Uh, see how it looks. It looks a lot better than it, it did, even though I'm really disappointed to see these big piles of sand still here. Um, they got the fence all taken down, and then. They're probably getting ready to put up another fence. Um, I can't remember if this, I have to look at my old video, I can't remember if uh, this is new playground equipment. I think it might be, but I'm not sure. Definitely got some repairs of these little bridges that go out from the park area and onto the beach. Check this out, we got um, uh, um, I don't know if it's a man or a woman yet, but it's, she's in the water. He or she is in the water, and the dog is just looking on. So, um, how cute is that? It's like a woman and her her dog, and he's just been such a good dog, just sitting there waiting for her. How cute is that? She's got, oh look, how oh, cute! It's gonna be a gorgeous sunset. I don't want to point it too much this way because I don't know how it's gonna look to you guys directly in the sun. How's the water? Is it cold? What? Is the water cold? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah. Not too bad? What? It's not too bad? It's cold, Is it cold? <laughs> These people say it's cold. <laughs> yeah, once you get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is it uh is it pretty clear out there? The water? Yeah? <laughs> so not as clear as it usually is, but it's not bad. <laughs> but you have such a good dog here. <laughs> That's so cute how she just sits there and waits for you and watches you. Hi guys, how's the fishing? How's the fishing? Little bite tender. Have you been here before to fish? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We don't really think you'll catch anything, huh? <laughs> One can hope. <laughs> yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, welcome to the Keys. I have to say, I'm glad Irma blew in all this sand. I can't wait till they get it all distributed. But um, it, it was a fairly sandy beach before, but now it just, it's really nice. It's just got so much sand. Let's check out the water here. Ooh. Oh, it's over my feet and it's cold. Oh, I can't believe she is out there swimming. Oh my gosh. That's chilly. Of course, I'm, I grew up in Oregon. And this is about how cold it was and how the lakes and rivers were this cold in the summertime. And we used to swim in them all the time, but I've acclimated to warm weather. So this would not have been cold to me when I was growing up, but it sure is now. This is gorgeous. Right before sunset, I'm gonna go to the end of the park over here and try to get a, a nice sunset shot.
So just a few minutes ago, I said, oh, I'm disappointed to see all these big piles of sand. But now that I'm down at this end of the beach, which is kind of like the southwest end of the beach, uh, you got these, uh, I mean, the, right over here at the southwest end, there used to be just huge, huge mountains of sand. When I say mountains, they were maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 feet tall, maybe more. But, um, and now they're gone. They're gone over here. So, I mean, they are making some progress. And I have to admit, those sand piles here in the middle of the beach area, they were a lot bigger too. So it looks like the, the far north end, way down there, uh, they've got the bigger sand piles down there still. Right in there. But I guess they are making progress. It's been about two months since my second update. I should put all three videos together, uh, how it looked before, and then my second one, and then this one, and it, you could really see the progress, I think, if I did, I did it that way. But I think I should do one more when they're totally done, and then put them all together for you. That would be really cool. We got someone, someone kicking back in a hammock right here. This area looks really good, actually, compared to what it used to look like. Yeah, this, this area looks so nice. It has improved, this whole park area. This, a lot of this used to be grass. I mean, not this volleyball court area, but I mean, down further towards the north end. Um, I don't know. It seems like there's just more sand now, but I love that. Looks great. Uh, picture perfect, how beautiful. bridge looks good. I can't remember if it uh, needed repaired or not, but it looks really good. When I look at the other video footage, then I'll, I'll remember. I'll see for myself uh, how this looked before. I haven't seen the close sign yet, and there's not like the banner, the t banners and tape up like there was before. I mean, it wasn't like all over the beach last time, just in some areas, and I haven't seen that yet. Let's, uh, I'll keep looking around and, and see if I see that. Someone has a camera on a tripod. She's catching, she's uh, capturing the beautiful sunset. It's gorgeous, lots of people here. We've got a lot of people down at this beach because they're here for the sunset out for a minute they're gonna enjoy the beautiful sunset more people coming to do the same apparently they have not replaced those docks down there it's got destroyed by Burma there's a couple docks there they haven't repaired those yet kids enjoying the water and skipping rocks pleasant evening and it's a bit of a wind, a bit of a breeze, I mean, and uh, it's teeny, teeny, teeny bit, has a teeny bit of a chill in the air, but not much, like, I to guess it's probably maybe 70-ish right now. Fairly comfortable, actually. And I think it would be actually really comfortable for people coming from Minnesota. They would just be loving this weather right now. Area just looks really great. So many people out right now here to enjoy the beautiful sunset. far south end and you see all this coral. Uh, this beach has been touted by different articles and ma I think magazines um, for being known as one of the best beaches in the, in the Florida Keys. Uh, as far as the public ones go, anyway, there's, I'm sure there's 
quite a few great private ones, but um, it's one of the best uh, public beaches in the Keys. And I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. Um, I've said it in the previous videos about Sombrero Beach, but uh, all the Keys is, it's on coral. So there's not a lot of naturally occurring sand beaches. Um, I read that uh, Bahia Honda State Park has the only one. So I don't know if that article I read is wrong. There might be more than one, but that is what I have read. That Bahia Honda Park, which is um, not far from here, 10, 15 minutes from Marathon. This is where we're at in Marathon. And um, anyway, um, that has the only naturally occurring sand beach, which I find very interesting. You think, oh, the Florida Keys is gonna have all these beaches. I, that's what I thought. Then somebody told me that, I'm like, oh. I mean, it does have a lot of beaches, but it's, they don't, actually, there's not the great beaches in other parts of Florida. I mean, other parts of Florida have way better beaches than the Keys. That's not to say it's not still, that there's not still great beaches down here, I'm just saying. So I'll just uh, say a few words while we watch the sunset together. Uh, I'm really excited because um, a fellow YouTuber that lives here in the Florida Keys, I think Marathon, uh, has reached out to me, a newbie YouTuber. Uh, he reached out to me weeks ago when I only had 100 subscribers um, to collaborate. He is Marathon TV and his videos are amazing. They're, the production is amazing. It's, they're very well done. Unlike mine, because I do not have any skills. Mine are very raw, as you've noticed. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, that will improve. Maybe I can get some help in that area um, as I progress with this channel. Um, I kind of feel like I will probably always have more of a raw side to me. You know, I saw that there are other travel channels out there. There's one called, another Facebook one called All About the Florida Keys, and I looked at it, and it is very beautifully produced and, and, you know, nice, nice videos and well done. And it's all, in my opinion, fluff meaning, not fake or anything, but fluff meaning just all the nicety, good stuff about the Keys and all the fancy resorts and the fancy beaches and all the nice, nice, nicey stuff in the Keys where I want to feature some of that, yes, but I also want to feature anything and everything that people might possibly be interested in when it has to do with the Keys, and including controversial stuff. I have one video out there that is getting all kind of, kinds of uh, hmm, comments that uh, are very controversial and that's uh, the truth about what's really going on in the lower Florida Keys about you know I go out on a skiff with one of the captains that lives in the lower Keys Keys hardest hit and he shows me all the debris in the canals that um, are, it's so bad and the waters are yucky and they think they're toxic and there's still no been no government help to clean it and people are saying oh wow 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 do it yourself. You can, don't quit complaining and quit relying on the government. Well, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's some some valid points in, in some ways with the things they're saying, but it, I don't know if it's completely applicable applicable to the situation. Um, it's not really safe for them to get into the canals. Number one, to clean it up, and number two, uh, they need heavy equipment to get some of this out. I mean, it's really big. They need dredgers. They need to dredge some of this stuff out. They don't have the resources or that kind of equipment. They don't have that kind of equipment or the resources to get it. So it's a little more involved than, than, than what people think that aren't here, that haven't walked a mile in the shoes of the people here. Now, I'm fairly objective, but because I live here and I see these people firsthand, um, you know, I would like to be more of an advocate for them and but I can totally understand other points of view. And, you know, if, if you're saying something that's not completely ignorant, I'll, hey, that's a valid point. I, I, I understand. 
Um, so, I mean, uh, for the most part, I try to be objective, but at the same time, you know, right now the keys are my people. The people here are my people in the keys. You know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, that was a beautiful sunset. And we have all the people kind of still lingering after the sunset. So I hope you bear with me. I've stumbled over my words a little bit in this video. Um, I'm not the best narrator. I mean, sometimes it flows and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, I should say I'm not the best narrator on the fly. I've never been really much of an improvisational type uh, speaker or a person just to come off the, the cuff. And so it's not my forte. You know, sometimes I do okay at it and it, and it flows. And, you know, sometimes not so much. The bathrooms are intact, if anybody wanted to know. Both buildings. I think I like a washing station here. Oh, isn't that picture perfect? Just gorgeous. Uh -huh. So they just haven't done a lot of construction, so like the north end is, that area is obviously closed, but this area here, yeah, from what people can tell is, is open, whether I don't, I don't know if it's act, yeah. actually official or not, yeah. but I mean, you see all the people here and I haven't, well, I guess it is officially open because I have not seen any uh, closed off signs or anything. No. It says in areas that they're under construction, it says beach closed there. Okay. That's so right. it is officially open on this end. There you go. There you have it. Okay. No, 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 it is no. officially open yeah. on no, this end, which is the uh, southwest end of the park. You're probably going, uh, lady, obviously it's open, all these people here, or whatever. But even the first time I came right after Irma, um, there were more signs and there was an actual sign that did say closed, which I haven't found this time. So, um, there's still people here, both the other two, two other times I was here making videos. And so I just thought, oh, well, people are still hanging out here, but yeah, it looks way more amenable even to being open. So yeah, it is officially open. At least, um, most of the park is officially open. And like she said, there's construction on the north end. And I think there's like some kind of construction banners there, you know, tape type stuff keeping you away. But that is, this is the uh, the official uh, let's see, diagnosis is not the word, but uh, the official word is that yes, it is open. Sombro Beach is open to the public. Most of it. So here's a section of the beach that's closed, the, the uh, northeast end. So this is the only area that's closed on this northeast side of Sombrero Beach. I mean, you can obviously see that. And that bridge over there needs to be repaired still. So yeah, I found my closed beach closed sign, but it's only this side of Sombrero Beach.